Hey everyone, this is Kieran from Eccentric Physio. Today's exercise is looking at the extensors of our neck and our head. So that's these muscles back in here. They're the ones that are gonna help us look up to the sky. Or when we go to look down, they're gonna resist that pull of gravity of down towards the earth. Um, they're an area that has a loss of endurance with certain types of neck injuries or neck pain. Um, not necessarily related to the, the duration of your symptoms, but um, if you've had any sort of neck injuries in the past, head injuries in the past, this is probably a test worth trying. And if you find that actually, you know, you don't score too well, then it might be something that is worth training for you and building that sort of battery back up. So when we're looking at um, some of the research around the cervical endurance, uh, sorry, the cervical extensor endurance, those muscles on the back of the neck and head, the ones that we talked about that help you sort of look up or uh, resist that pull of gravity when you're looking down, um, they're, they're an area that's really commonly affected after, um, you know, things like whiplashy type injuries, concussion, chronic neck pain. Um, we're not sure necessarily on the specific mechanisms um, and it might be something to do at times with a bit more of like fear avoidance and over time disuse as opposed to um, like the actual insult of the injury like a muscle strain or a muscle tear um, but for whatever reason these muscles tend to they kind of behave differently so they'll atrophy in a different way and what that means um, might sound a bit crude but like if you look at you know, like a, like a steak in the supermarket and you've got the ones that are more marbled, more fat in them versus the leaner cuts. If we see muscles atrophy, you can see them atrophy in a way where they lose size but don't necessarily increase their fat content. Whereas with, um, after like whiplashy type injuries or like high velocity movements or uh, mechanisms, you'll see the muscle actually atrophy but not necessarily decrease in as much size but it'll have increased fatty infiltration, which changes how that muscle architecture is able to do its job. It might make the, say the fibers, if they're nice and parallel like this, and they're able to pull and resist each other, particularly with those extensors, which are quite a vertical, um, you're gonna see the fat sort of create distortion within those fibers and affect their ability to pull. And muscles are very much like, um, I suppose Velcro would be a nice analogy where the amount of Velcro that's attaching increases their ability to exert force. And if they're at their end amounts, there's less Velcro attaching. And so if something's pushed out of, not out of place, but if it's bowed or something like that, it's gonna um, change its ability to attach. And also you've got reduced um, muscle fibers, and so that plus that, and then you've got a reduced ability to produce force and, and um, demonstrate capacity like endurance. So, Bit of preamble. Um, the test for this though, in the research they use typically a couple kilos because otherwise your test times are just extraordinarily long, five to 10 minutes potentially. And that's just not really useful for us to know that you can last that long. Better to increase the weight to reduce the test time. I haven't got a two kilo handy, so I've got a five kilo hooked up to my belt here. And you can use any belt you've got at home, put that on and then maybe put like a little bag on the end of it and um, just chuck a couple kilos in there. I've got some normative values you can check in on the article to compare yourself to. And depending on where you are, there's gonna be a, a degree of, a window of acceptability. So it's not saying you have to hit the mean or the average value. You wanna get somewhere within that range and then you can double check the studies if you want as well and see if uh, that study actually measured your, um, your age group or, or your gender or you know, your population. So how do we set up? You just need a ledge here, so this could be your bed at home, or a couch, or even like a, a table. And you're just going to pop the weight on the back of the head like this. Now during the test, what they've got on the back of the heads is like an inclinometer, and that's just going to tell, okay, if I'm starting at zero degrees, and then I drop down a certain amount, then we stop the test. So the point of this endurance test is not to fail to the point where your head drops and the weight hits the ground. It's when you lose the technique. And that technique, if you imagine there's something coming at your face, you're pulling your head 
away from your face, uh, away from that, that object. And so you're trying to hold that sort of chin tucked a little bit. Not tucked where my head is going into flexion, just pull the face away. And you're going to hold, 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 hold. Until you feel like you can't hold that position anymore. And say already, say if I did that, now I'm losing that position. I might try to correct myself. And if I can't correct myself because I'm that fatigued, then I stop. And I keep, I record that time of when I stopped. As far as prescription goes, we're going to be looking at taking 40 to 60% of that time. And then you could do a few sets of that two to three times a week. Um, and I've outlined that a little bit more in the article. So for example, if you've got 120 seconds as a score, 40 to 60% of that I think is um, 48 to 72 seconds. And so you would do um, three sets of 48 to 72 seconds, two to three times a week for six weeks, retest your endurance score, and then go again for another six weeks based on your new score and see if you can get your values up. And hopefully that'll change um, some of your symptoms. If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here. And to check out our latest video, click up here.